This tension gauge, referred to by most people as the cricket gauge, is a simple tool with few moving parts. Unfortunately, most service technicians don't use any kind of tension measuring device, instead relying upon the calibrated thumb method. DACO engineers working with service technicians at training workshops have seen the thumb method under tension belts by 20 pounds to as much as 50 pounds. Although the Cricket gauge is a well-designed, accurate tension gauge, it faces one big problem, operator error. So here's an explanation of what to do and what not to do when using the Cricket gauge. The Cricket gauge is available from DACO in two sizes. The smaller size is for V-belts up to 7 eighths of an inch wide with a tension range of 30 to 150 pounds or 14 to 70 kilograms. The larger size fits poly rib belts with up to 14 ribs with a tension range of 100 to 300 pounds or 45 to 135 kilograms. To use the cricket gauge, insert your finger under the rubber strap and onto the pressure pad. For illustration, we'll use a belt installed on a laboratory test machine. Place the gauge on the back of the belt, not the rib side, centering it across the width of the belt and as close as possible to the middle of the belt span. It's critical that the widened area on the bottom of the gauge lay flat on the back of the belt and parallel with the belt edge when performing the tension measurement. Once the gauge is placed correctly, the next step is to slowly depress the pressure pad, pushing the cricket gauge perpendicular to the back of the belt. The slower you go, the better chance you have of stopping immediately after the click to get a correct reading. If you push too fast, you'll overshoot and a faulty reading will occur. Next, remove the gauge and read the belt tension by looking at the number where the top side of the pivoting arm crosses the numbered scale on the body. This reading is 140 pounds of tension. Here is a thousand dollar electronic tension gauge measuring tension on that same belt. This gauge registers 138 pounds, which is within 1% of the cricket gauge reading. The extra few seconds it takes to use the cricket gauge carefully and correctly will be rewarded with accurate tension readings, especially when compared to the much overused calibrated thumb method.